Good morning. Good morning. Okay, how are you feeling today? Awesome. Not loud enough. When you say awesome, it got to be really loud. Shake down this building. Okay, one more time. How are you feeling today? Awesome. All right, give yourself a big hand. Eh? Come on. All right, I think I don't need a mic to talk to you, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so I don't need a mic because I have a speaker here, but it is for the video, all right? Uh, first and foremost, I would like to uh, thank Mani Masri uh, for giving me uh, the opportunity to come here to share with you a little bit of my experience over the past few years, all right? Now, as uh, Jennifer mentioned, I was a past graduate of uh, Mani Masri. I was in the batch 601, all right? So uh, that was a long, long time ago, and ever from then onwards, I have gone and done so many, many things, all right? So I believe you all as well, sitting in this room, have the opportunity uh, to make a big change in your life. So I'm here not to talk about my success story, but basically I'm here to share with you a little bit about my experience on the internet for the past six years, all right? Now, before I proceed, how many of you here are involved in marketing on the internet? Can I see a show of hands? All right, one person, that's all. One. Anyone? Two. All right. Uh, give them a big hand. Come on. All right. Now, if you can see from the show of hand, in most workshops that I go to as well, only one or two people will put up their hand. What does that show? It shows that a lot of people do not know what internet marketing is about. What they use the internet is to do something that is non-productive. If I rephrase the question here, I ask you this. How many of you use the internet every day? Put up your hand. Every single one, right? You send email, you receive email, uh, you basically chit chat, you play games as well, right? On the internet, you surf the net for information. That is as far as what you do. But do you realize that that computer sitting in the corner of your house there is such a fantastic invention that can allow you to have access to any information in the world, all right? And not only it allows you to have access to information in the world, it also uh, give you an opportunity to tap into the potential to earn some income, whether it can be on a part-time basis or on a full-time basis, all right? So, here I am today not to share with you some textbook stuff, although I've written some textbook on this, but I'm here to share with you my own personal experience, which I think is more meaningful to you all, isn't it? Because relating my experience to you is more meaningful. And let me share with you one more thing. Internet marketing is not rocket science. All right, it's something very simple because I believe everyone sitting in this room here is involved in marketing every day of your life. Do you agree with me? Yeah. For a housewife, she's always negotiating with her husband and with her children. That is marketing. All right? And, and basically what we do on the internet is that we bring this marketing a stage further to apply it to the internet. Now, when we talk about offline, we are talking about having relationship with people. You can shake people's hand. You can uh, bring them up for a cup of coffee, tap their shoulder, and so on, right? But the internet involves something different because you don't see people face to face. That is why when people tell you internet marketing is so easy, let me start here by telling you that it's not easy. All right? To sell one single product is not easy, but if you learn how to do it, it can be, be done. It is possible, all right? And I can tell you, I learned all this over the period of six years without any guidance from anyone. I'm a do-it-yourself person, all right? So basically, uh, I'm here to share with you that if I can do it, everyone in this room can also do it. You know what? Six years ago, I don't even know how to send an email. I think all of you sitting in this room is much better off than me, isn't it? All right, six years ago, I don't even know how to send an email, but today, after six years of all the hardship and so on, try and error and so on, I can stand in front of you all and talk about what internet marketing is about, all right? So let's, uh, without f f uh, further delay, let's move on to what we're going to talk about. All right, the first thing, let me see. The first thing we want to talk about is why do you need to have a web presence, all right? Now, why is it important for us to have a web presence? A lot of people don't appreciate this. They say the internet does not work. Actually, the internet works. The only problem is that we do not know how to make it work, isn't it? Now. I want to throw a question to you before we proceed further to clear the misconception here. Do we make money on the internet? Do we make money on the internet? No. You'll be surprised. We don't make money on the internet, my friend. Is that shocking? You're here to learn how to make money, and I tell you, you don't make money on the internet. What you do is you use the internet as a media to promote your product or services. Is that clear? It is an effective media. Just like I do seminar, I 
advertise in the newspaper. The newspaper is a media to promote, promote my product or services. So the internet is the most effective tool to promote your product and services, isn't it? When I advertise in the newspaper, I got to pay thousands of dollars and the exposure is only in this part of the world, right? But through the internet, I, I can expose it throughout the whole world and it's just a fraction of the cost of what you need to pay by advertising in the newspaper, all right? So without further ado, let's move on. Why do you need to have a web presence then? The first and most important thing is strength, all right? The internet is the fastest strength in the world today. Now, let me share with you four of the fastest strength in the world today. Number one is internet. Number two is website. Number three is e-commerce. And number four is a home-based business. Everyone wants to work from home, all right? Those are the four fastest strengths in the world today. But when we talk about internet marketing this morning, we are talking about covering not one trend, but all the four top trends in the world. Is that exciting? Yeah, that's why it's exciting here. So trend is important. That's why you need to have a web presence, okay? Number two, exposure. All right, I'm sure you know that uh, through the internet, you can expose your business throughout the whole world. As long as there is internet access anywhere in the world, your business can be established there. Is that correct? I am from Malaysia, all right, and I work from home, but my business is everywhere throughout the whole world. And at a fraction of a cost of even advertising in the newspaper, is that correct? Okay, that's exposure. If you want exposure, then you need to have a web presence. Number three, it is cost effective. If today you are talking about starting a conventional business, I'm sure you are aware, even a hundred thousand ringgit is not sufficient, is it? To start a reasonable business. But do you realize that with the internet, with a few hundred ringgit, you can start a business not in two years' time or in three years' time, but this evening. All right? You can start a business this evening. I'll run through with you about that. Number four, 24 7. If you know what is 24 7, it simply means that your shop is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and 365 days a year. All right? Is that fantastic? Now, let me ask you one question. How do you like to have a salesman who doesn't get paid? How do you like to have a salesman that doesn't sleep, works 24 hours a day? How do you like a salesman that don't ask for a pay rise or quarrel with you? You like that? I think if you are in business, you will like that, isn't it? All right, so let me share with you. The website is your best salesman, all right? But you've got to train this salesman to be so good that you know, it can convince people to take out their credit card. That's the difficult part, all right? Number five, home-based business. As I shared with you, home-based business is the fourth fastest trend in the world today. Every single week, more than 150,000 people are going into a home-based business. When I talk about home-based business, I'm not talking about just insurance or unit trust or network marketing, but I'm talking about people, professional people like lawyers, doctors, engineers, they are moving to home to do their business. Is that correct? People now realize that money is important, but the quality of life is even more important, isn't it? All right, so let's move on. Okay, the internet explosion. Let's look at the internet explosion here, all right? To reach 50 million people, which is double the population of Malaysia, all right, radio took 38 years. Now, probably you might be thinking, what's so great about radio today? But think about it, years ago during your great-grandfather's time, was it a fantastic invention? For the first time, they can hear a voice coming out from a big, big box. Right? It was a fantastic invention, but it still took 38 years. Now, later on, now the box, now they can see pictures, and still it took 13 years, my friend. All right? And have a guess. Internet took only five years to reach. 15 million people. This is not fast, actually, it's still very slow, but it is the fastest trend in the world today. All right, let's move on and look at some statistics here. All right, in 1960, the internet started as a military project in the US. <coughs> Can you imagine this? The internet project started out of necessity, not because somebody has a vision to use the internet to make money or to, to, to have information available, but it is because of necessity, all right? All right, I wouldn't go into detail, but it's because of Sputnik 1, all right? In 1972, there were 23 computers on the baby internet. That was all in 1972, all right? And in 1982, that was the first time the internet was introduced to the whole world. And I believe it came to this part.